the Batman is coming out this weekend, <laughs> and we're going to give our prediction on how much we think the new Batman film is going to make. Ain't that right? Yes. But before we get started, if you're new, wherever you're watching at, make sure you subscribe, follow, like, whatever you, wherever you're in the world doing, you know, do all that good stuff. And send us a check. And that's plenty. Hey. Yes, yes. All right, folks, it's all about the Batman, right? So before we give our actual predictions on how much we think this new Batman film is going to make, I wanted to kind of go down memory lane and look at some of the top Batman films as far as their box office opening, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the highest grossing Batman films in the top five is Batman Begins. This came out in 2005. Actually, definitely one of my favorite Batman films. It opened up to $48 million. Not too mm. shabby, not too shabby. So, but it wasn't the best because coming in at number four, we have Batman Forever. As a kid, I really loved this film. It came out in 1995 and it opened up to $52 million. So, mm. definitely a little bit better than Batman Begins. Order film, it opened up really well. And coming in at number three, you won't believe it. Guess what it's going to be? The know. Lego Batman movie. This movie opened up to $53 million in 2017. And actually, you know what? This was a fun movie. I did enjoy this one as well. You watched it? I did watch it. You didn't watch it? Watch no, it? I didn't watch it. It was a good... It was a good Damn, you're more um, of a fan than I am. <laughs> I pretty much watched every Batman film. <laughs> uh, not all the cartoons that they have, but basically every Batman movie that there is. Mm-hmm. All right, so coming in at number two, we have The Dark Knight. Oh, that's this one's my favorite. Definitely a great film. Mm-hmm. A lot of, lot of, lot of tragedy with the opening in the film in general. It opened up to one hundred fifty-eight million dollars, mm-hmm. uh, and that was in two thousand and eight. So definitely, uh, definitely uh, a great that's a film. Long time. Definitely a long time ago, right? That was mm-hmm. like 14 years ago. Batman was on fire. As you can see, you know, this trilogy was actually probably the, the highest grossing out of all the Batmans. Mm-hmm. I and, just love the Joker in this one. This is my favorite Joker in that one. Joker out of was all good, them. man. They said, uh, you know, he Ledger went through some things, you know, mm-hmm. so rest in peace. Great actor, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, great portrayal of the Joker, probably one of the best, but mm-hmm. I would say the Joker, man, I think he's such a great character that even some of the other Jokers, like, um, can't think of his name, like the original Joker from the 90s film. Um, mm-hmm. He was God, good, too. He's a freaking legend. I can't think of his name right now. Leave leave it in the comments. Do you remember his name? No, I don't remember his name. God, this is sad. <laughs> Somebody, you know, we'll do our Googles and while we're watching this video. <laughs> but uh, he actually got paid more than Michael Keaton to do that, the first movie, I believe. The wow. Movie. So, because he was the big name. Michael Keaton wasn't you know, as big back then compared to the guy we can't think of his name, mm-hmm. which we'll get back to uh, you guys in a second. But coming in at number one is The Dark Knight Rises. Is it? Yes, Jack Nicholson. That's who we were talking about. <laughs> the Google saved us. Yeah, he he was also really good. He was like awesome. he's he's went before what's his name Heath Heath Ledger Heath Ledger yeah. Um, he was my favorite. Yeah. Great, great, uh, great portrayal. Mm-hmm. And coming in at number one ish, you know, because we got a bonus, it's the Dark Knight Rises, making 160 million dollars, and this was in 2012. Dang, that was like almost 10 years ago. Wow. So, um, the question is, you know, looking at these numbers, and we're gonna throw, in, I'm gonna throw in a bonus, right? Mm-hmm. It's kind of considered a Batman movie, kind of not. Batman versus Superman: Dawn of Justice. This movie opened up to 166 million dollars, and that was in 2014 or 2016, I should say. So overall, you know, you're we, looking at the uh, the Batman franchise. We're looking at the top five, plus one. Um, you know, how much do we think it's gonna make, right? You got Robert Patters- Pattinson. Like, what type of star is he? So basically, in this movie, we got Batman, Catwoman, Riddler, Penguin. They're pulling out all the stops. I think people are really excited and hyped to see it. You got Spider-Man No Way Home. They came out last year cracking $260 million with Omicron and everything against it. It's still holding strong. So Anna, with all this information, 
The first question is, do you think he'll crack $100 million? <laughs> da, 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 da. I, I think so. And how much do you think he's going to uh, land at? What's your prediction? Mm. I'm going to say 190. 190. Okay. <laughs> That's... I don't I was like... <laughs> Okay. That's out of A. You know what I mean? You think it could get, go up there, be the highest grossing Batman film of all time? I'm going to say 100. <laughs> I know they're saying it's projected to be like 80 million, but I feel like it'll be like 100, 125-ish. <laughs> okay. Hey, no, but it can crack <laughs> there. You know what I mean? Spider-Man No Way Home did two, 260. Uh, so Batman, you know, Batman is a great franchise. People are excited about it. Well, it has a lot of characters. It's not just one main bad guy, you know. Correct, correct. So I think it's going to crack 100 mil, mil, man. I know a lot of movies didn't crack 100 million last year. I think this one should crack 100 million, probably land at 100, 125. That's my prediction. I'm hoping it's going to be good. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of reviews. I heard people say X, Y, and Z, but nothing really official yet, which I will probably try to avoid and see this at the movie theaters um, probably like a week or two afterwards. Mm -hmm. Even with the war going on, I feel like if Spider-Man No Way Home could get a crack in, the Batman should be able to get a crack in too. Oh, at least That's like a... Maybe. <laughs> hey, man. I, I mean, yeah, it depends on Robert Pattinson, yeah. how good he is. Because usually when you have other actors playing that part, you don't know if he's going to pull it off. You know what I mean? New director. Mm -hmm. But, hey, I think it's uh, I think it's going to be good, man. I think it's going to be hopefully a good movie. It's like almost three hour, hours. They say it's going to be more on the detective side. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, so we'll see. But let us know your thoughts below. Uh, how much do you think the Batman is going to make at the movie theaters? We'd love to know. And don't forget to like, share, and comment. And Leave subscribe. the numbers down. Leave the numbers down below. Hit them keyboards. Down below. Yeah. All right, folks. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.